But the Americans aren't too far behind. In the mid-1990s, engineers from Lockheed Martin and General Electric put a special nozzle on the back of an engine. The engine was then put into an F-16 fighter and taken to Edwards Air Force Base for flight tests. In the F-22 and Su-37, engine nozzles can be directed up and down. This engine pushes the exhaust up and down as well as side to side. It's called the MATV, multi-axis thrust vectory. High above the Mojave Desert, pilots guided the F-16 through an aerial ballet of extreme maneuverability. One of the moves is called the helicopter. Here the pilot pulls the fighter through a controlled flat spin. The goal is to keep the nose pointed towards an enemy fighter, no matter where it goes. This one is thick as it takes in right past it. Start your turn now, looking good. As the F-16 spirals earthward, the camera plane has trouble just staying close. This is sweet. Looking good. <laughs> he came right back around on him. A wild way to look at another airplane. Passing 21.5, 72 Alpha. Another maneuver is called a post stall loop. Pilots call it the hammerhead. First, the pilot points the plane skyward, then he rotates the pitch axis about its center of gravity. At one point, the F-16 is actually flying backwards in controlled flight. One, third maneuver. Easy on the pull. That'd be a little slow. Now, 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 now. Yes. So that one was nice. Extreme maneuverability takes getting used to. For a fighter pilot, acceleration and high G-turns are one thing. Flying backwards and stopping on a dime are something else. Jet engines produce thrust with their exhaust gases. If redirected with a movable nozzle, this thrust can dramatically change the direction of a plane, allowing it to travel at a 90 degree angle or even backwards. NASA is currently conducting tests that will use thrust vectoring at supersonic speeds.